hii ngome ya makueni inaitwa wipe hii ngome and when hii and when when it was in 2017 this is a place that delivered to nasa over 90% ndio kwa sababu tunataka mtu heshima hata kama tumenyamaza wewe sifuna ukasema ukasema tusipatiwe pesa ya chama tumehangaika ni sawa tu tuko sawa we yeah, okay governor governors walikutana last week nataka niseme hapo mbele ya kanisa na kwa sababu mmenikasirisha Mukasema mnataka Kalonzo aingie azimio. Na mukasema Kalonzo anaitisha pesa. 3 billion shillings. Nataka musimame hapa mtuambie ni lilini Kalonzo aliitisha pesa, aliitisha nani na aliitisha wapi? Hey. Allah. Ya. Ende kumutoa saa hata inywe. Kalonzo ni mtu mtilivu. Hata hawezi kuinua kidole. And if you want Kalonzo to be in Azimio, why would you insult him? Wewe upara nyaenda uulize hiyo swali Raila Amolo Odinga. Kwa sababu hajapigia Kalonzo akamwambia ingia Azimio. Ametuma charity, ametuma ametuma mutoa na ametuma governor Kibwana. Wazeme Kalonzo aingia Azimio. In fact, gazeti imeonyesha wakimvuta miguu na mikono. Wakimpeleka cham lazima ile neto ligazimio cha lazima eh hey. atutaingia na fujo eh kaini mutavie kindu ne mwetelie yes eh hey. hey. mtu itie na mwambie Raila Molo Odinga akuja itishe wakamba kura acha kuwatuma nyinyi mnatutukana and i'm going to say this and i'm going to say it in front of the church sisi tumeitishia Raila Amolo Odinga kura na tukampatia Rosef na akaandika mkataba ambao imeko sahi na professor Kibwana hapo akasema atamsupport Kalonzo mkikuja kutuitisha kura museme muna support dr Stephen Kalonzo Musio straight na nikiwaambia hivyo mnaanza kusema oh hawa watu wanataka kwenda kwa Wilbaro sisi tulikataa kamii kitambo ndio tu aku hiyo Wilbaro tundia na mwana mwesu pia unaitinga you know tu mianze paingwe ne we are warm no pure and my to mark ni we ni chao tu a protest na moyo tu oniandaye sisi tunasema hivi na muende museme sisi ni watu wanyenyekevu na muone hawa watu wakitupa mawe watafanya chochote but we want dr steven kalonzo musyoka respected the president of this republic respects kalonzo that is the reason he asked me to write an agreement for cooperation with jubilee na mimi nikatengeneza because of respect moa tuonye ndai ya mbudu no tu isi bana tutotonyo vi na tuunga pia kalonzo kwi kwio kwi kwa sawa sawa ja kuku pailu na neilu mutango ailu ola ola otiasia mbwa magoweni ametesie lakini mtakuja huko kwetu makueni mwendo wa aste aste pole pole mmejinyenyekea mkikuja hivi mtaona kile tulionyesha wale kanga vile alitolewa manyoya tuko tayari tulisimama tukakataa jubilee we refused wakati walituonyesha kwamba wanataka kutumia njia mbaya we said no and we will say no and that is the son of mtula kilonzo speak endeni mzee nimesema hivi haile community we will stand on our own if we are not respected tuone kama hii dunia itasimama 
kila mtu anajua sasa that Dr. Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka is not somebody to ignore. Yes. <laughs> and Mheshimiwa Badi alisema hivi. You are not going to give to take us to Azimio by force. You will not. No. No. Yes. Na yangu ya mwisho mheshimiwa kwa sababu nimesema hii na sitaki niondoke hapa kabla siyasema what I have been saying. Sometimes, sisi wale tunataka kupewa viti yetu kama hii ya governor mutula. Ya, ya, ya governor. Ni kusema kalonzo ndi watakuwa raisi wetu wa Kenya. Hata mubunge. Ili watu wasikie huyu anashika mtoto wetu tutaenda na yei. Ili yei ya kienda awe, awe governor wa makuweni. Ye kalonzo wetu na ni mtoto wetu anaenda kuanguka peke yake. We are saying... We must all, all of us, come together and win together. We must win with Kalonzo or we all fail with Kalonzo. So, wacha kumushika, anguke, na we ungio uwe governor, na ye ende kuanguka. That is what I'm saying. Na hiyo ndiyo nasema. Mimi kama sifuna mkatoliki ambaye nimebatizwa, nataka uniite kwa ofisi yako. Pamoja na ndugu yangu mutula Kilonzo. Niwe mbele ya mwenyezi mungu nitoe stakabadhi documents ya kuonyesha pesa ambayo imelipwa kutoka chama cha ODM kwenda kwa chama ya waipa. Alafu wewe fada utakuja uwaambie hawa watu kama nadanganya ama nasema ukweli. Kwa sababu kitu kama pesa kulipwa mahali si kitu ambayo uneza kuficha. Mutula Kilonzo is a lawyer like me. I am putting myself before the church as the Secretary General of ODM with documentation to show the money that has been paid to wipe a democratic movement. Number two, I am happy, Honorable Mutula Kilonzo, that you acknowledge that we have a common enemy, that in fact you and me are not enemies. Wakati ambapo tumevuruga hii watu ingine kama Rafiki yangu weta, tukamutua kwa kiti, we have never touched your seat, you are still our minority whip. Why is that? We have a lot of respect for you because of who you are and the work you have done for the people of Makwe. And we wish you all the best. You want to be the governor. You are a young person like me. I would like to see you elected as governor because we want to see young people in leadership. So, mimi najua umekubali kwamba our common enemy is one. Sio sisi tumekuja hapa kusema ati lazima kalonzo wa jiunge na azimiu. Apana, ushawishi ndiyo na win watu. Baba ametufunza sisi kwamba siyasa ni ushawishi, siyasa ulazimishi, siyasa wezi shurutisha, lazima kwa sera zako na maungezi yako uvutie watu wa ingenda. Sini kweli? The right of political association is one that requires free will. Free will. We will not force anyone to join any political coalition that they are not. But pia umesema we mwenyewe ya kwamba watu ya ukambani lazima wakue ndani ya serikali. Na dalili ya, mawi, ya mvua ni nini? Mawili. Kila mtu Kenya hii, hata ukikazirika, unajua raisu wa tano wa inchi hii ni mweshimua Raila Molo Odinga. Huko ndio serikali naenda. Sasa kama munataka kukua kwa serikali, hapo ndio mutakua. Habana, tutambia na ukwenu. Jambo la mwishu. Jambo la mwishu. Jambo la mwishu. Sisi kama wana azimio. Sisi kama wana azimio. Tumekubali wito kwamba amani na utangamano wa wananchi wetu peace and unity of our people is the foundation of every development father umeona nchi zingine walikuwa wanaringa sana wao wameendelea nchi kama Ethiopia kwa mfano lakini wakati tofauti zilianza kutokea tofauti za kidini tofauti za ki eh, eh, kisiasa ki sasa tumeambiwa kwamba hata watu wapita Kenneth wana support na kwa hivyo wakiwa wana support tunaona kwamba kule kushinda kuko karibu kabisa sasa sisi wale tuli invest miaka hiyo kumi mara mbili tukisema tutaenda sasa tutawacha hiyo tu jengo tu throw the hat twazekana sisi hatutaki hiyo tena hata tukianguka tuanguke usini uwe usini uwe ti uwe kwa sababu tunaona sasa ile kanan iko hapa karibu tafadhali tusiwe na roho ya kurudi misri na ikiwa watu wa siasa kama mimi na wengine tunataka kukaa Misri. Na fadha na hiyo mambo ya Misri zaidi ya mimi. Twen, twen, sisi tuache watu wetu waende Kanaan 
na sisi tubaki peke yetu wapi Misri kwa sababu tukilipa ile mishara mikubwa mikubwa na tukija huku tuseme kwamba ya 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 sisi tuna hiyo mishara mikubwa mikubwa lakini hawa vijana wako hapa na akina mama hawana hiyo mishara kwa hivyo ikiwa Kenya sasa kuna hizi mbili kuna watu wanatanga tanga hawataki kufanya kazi they can't be steady they are here and there na mtu sijui anaweza kufanya kazi ga, ga, namna gani kiwa is not steady she or he na kuna hii azimio of bringing all the Kenyans together ukisema utaongojia uongojie uongojie sasa gari ikiwa imejaa alafu uje kama ile noa ya ile ile aka ya noa uje kupiga hodi na amefunga hata ukifunguliwa dirisha watasema kwamba hao walikuja mahali pa kufunguliwa tu ni dirisha waje tu kwa hiyo ni bongo mwiano maito chogu ilikuwa na coalition tuliwaambia ile pesa mmepewa na ODM mata sisi kwa sababu tuko coalition tugauieni tafadhali tukaambiwa nyinyi mnao tamtagauiwa nini na sisi tukasema ni sawa tu Mungu atatusaidia siku nyingine and we say it is good to speak all the truth hiyo MOU unasema kwamba Kalonzo na Raila wali sign hiyo MOU mtu akifanya MOU yeye anaandika mwenzake anaandika wanakuja wanaangalia yote wale wameandika wanasema hii ni sawa alafu wakitaka wanaita watu watie kidole na wewe ukitia kidole si mpaka usome ni nini unatia kidole kwa sababu wao ni wakubwa ni wakubwa wamesema kwamba tia kidole as witnesses like a will like when your father tukiangalia vile inchi iko uende nyanza wako ndani ya azimio uende western wako ndani ya azimio a third of the great rift valley iko ndani ya azimio Nairobi azimio coast azimio north eastern azimio rais uhuru ametuonyesha pale mkoa wakati tumeingia azimio sasa ni hapa eastern hapa eastern usikubali siasa ya hapa kati yenu ije ikafanya muwe i nje mimi nawasihi tu msikubali kuwa i nje na hakuna mtu atalazimisha mwingine and i want to tell senator senator i want to tell you this because mimi ni rafiki karibu sana wa mheshimiwa Raila Odinga he has never had any issue with Kalonzo in fact he always says whenever we meet we need Steve sasa hii siasa ya kuja hapa nyumbani tuanze kutenganisha haitafanya kazi tuwe kitu kimo kimoja na vile tu nitawauliza wale ambao walizingatia wakaingia azimio mbele kina charity kina mutua kina kibudha hawakukosea walienda kufungua njia ya wengine nao waku wakuje tuwe kitu kimoja ndugu zangu hivyo ndivyo tutajenga nchi sifikiri kuna jamii itataka kuachwa nje mnataka kuwa nda nimalizie niseme hivi ha majamaa wanaongea mambo mengi wakija hapa wanatusi gavana wenu wote wakija hapa wanatusi kalonzo wakitoka nje wanatusi uhuru wanatusi raila wakikosa mtu wa kutusi wanatusi nchi ya jirani si mnajua hivyo si mnaelewa hiyo kwa hivyo wanakosea heshima kila mtu hata nyinyi nyinyi mkiwa wafuasi wa kibudha mkiwa wafuasi wa kalonzo wakati viongozi wenu wanatukanwa ni nyinyi mnatusiwa tuko pamoja kwa hivyo mimi nataka kuasihi tuwe kitu kimoja hiyo chama hiyo 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 na ya kutusiana ambaye inaitwa udaku si inaitwa udaku eh na kikamba udaku eh kwa hivyo ni waulize kwa heshima tuende safari mo pahali nchi iko yote tuwe pamo pamoja hii mambo ya pesa ilitokea na yeye mwenyewe akanituma kuongea na Kalonzo Msyoka 
nilikutana kalonzo msioka kwake mara tatu na tukatatua haya mambo na vile secretary general amesema hii pesa ikalipwa hata ile figa yenyewe mimi najua kama yaliweke iliwekwa kando basi enda uliza kalonzo hiyo pesa wamesema imelipwa iko wapi kwa hivyo watu wangu kutoka ukambani siasa ni kuwa kwa serikali unajua kama sisi viongozi tunaweza kutafuta viti yetu na tupate hata hapa tuna MCA tuna MP tuna governor yuko hapa lakini hiyo ni tofauti na kuwa kwa serikali kuu kwa sababu yako mambo mengine sisi kama magovernors hatuwezi kufanya mpaka tupate pesa kutoka kule juu kwa sababu ile pesa ambayo tunapata ni chache kabisa ndio kwa sababu tunapigania hiyo pesa iende juu kutoka 15% to 35% even junior ukipata hii governor na uendelee kupata hii pesa ambayo inatoka makweni hapa nimetembea huku juu tione mabarabara za lami hapa na tunataka barabara ya lami iwe, iwe kila mahali ni utafanya hii lami namna gani kama hauna pesa ya kutosha kwa hivyo kitu ya mahana ni kuweka hawa watu kwa serikali wakati nilichuka pale nilisikia wale watu walikuwa hapo wakasema hawa ni watu wa simio ni ukweli sisi tuko kwa simio na tuko kwa simio na lengo la kuleta wa Kenya pamoja tuingie hapo ndio tuunge serikali We kwenda omba kalonzo musioka aingie asimio tuunge serikali pamoja nataka kusema hivi na mimi nataka kuomba viongozi wako hapa governor wangu kibula kibana kwa heshima sana tutakeni na governor oparanya na uh, governor ngilu na wale wengine ni maana katoko shivuna nimekuona wewe mimi nasema hivi hii eneo letu tusidanganyane huku petu ni wiper na governor na waomba muachane na kalonzo hesabu ya kalonzo tunaifanya mzuri sana na sisi hatuna wasiwasi tutahakikisha kwamba sisi tuko katikati ya serikali kwa hivyo wakati mnaambia kalonzo oh, hii na hii wachaneni na kalonzo sisi wana wiper tuko tayari na tuko hapa tunafanya hesabu mzuri sana tuhakikishe kwamba wananchi wa kamba wetu na wananchi wote wako ndani ya serikali kwa hivyo this is one kenya and that is why as imio we are coming together from all parts of the country to work together for one nation one people so i'm going to tell you wakili we are going to come we are going to talk and you don't need honorable raila to talk to honorable kalonzo we need you we need you the people so asanteni sana